Welcome back. Another midweek joy that is Zetsubo Sensei. Of course, how would we be able to get through the grueling days without a rather abstract amount of questionable society members? But a good introspective of one's life and how we deal with everything is probably not needed when we're knee deep into the week. But it's going to be fun. And Zetsubo Sensei has been nothing if not slightly entertaining all the way through. Now with no s sort of plot to be expanded upon, no important messages that I can really give before the episodes, just means that we can sit down without a care in the world and regret our actions by watching Zetsubo Sensei. This is actually very welcome today, considering uh, it's been rather slow this morning, although didn't expect the classical piano along with this kind of story, although these recaps, oh, they're so, so important. Errol Manas. Not heard of that one. <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel as though hypochondria is a hell of a thing. Are these the kind of sob stories that go on in any talent show? I believe so. I'm so happy we're getting this little picture in picture. I don't believe that was there before. If it was, I had scrubbed it from my memory. But there are parts of this intro which visually are pushing a fort or two. Not in any kind of artistic sense, but in substance, makes me re remember that there's another show out there which I kind of really, really actually want to watch right now. And so if you've had a passing uh, conversation or heard of Dadan Dan, that's, that's what I was thinking about, whether it be the Aliens or the ghostly aspect to it. Not sure that this was it was meant to be portraying that. <laughs> what was that? Measles? This is not a disease that we have to worry about here in uh, good old Blighty. No. Is measles like chicken pox? I don't think you meant to go and grab it. I don't think, yeah, as I said before, measles is not a disease that we think about at all, really, in the UK. I might be wrong, but I don't think so. Oh, what a wasted life not being able to... Oh, no. You see, I just started like that. You can't waste your life if you're always stuck on games to begin with. I 
So what other late stage diseases can we pick up in our adult lives? It would have been so easy to deal with as a... Ah, I wonder. I feel called out. Just have a quick look at my history of the channel. I don't quite get that reference, but I can imagine what it means. Fatal? I don't think an interest in anime and games is... Well, it could be fatal. But then... Get... Oh, no. Shinpachi is uh, being portrayed quite well on the screen right now. Corn beef is great. It is salted and processed crap, and I love it. <laughs> uh, a, a slow drip feed of interest in those topics, and you won't get overcome with them. It's an autobiography. R right. <laughs> what is she reading particular? Get over emotional about the, the, the tale itself. Isn't it good that she's connecting so well with the characters of the story. Hmm. There are men a multitude of times where I've... <sighs> None of these particular instances, but there have been plenty of times when I was a child where I was scolded and therefore cut out that behaviour entirely. Unfortunately, one of them was just talking in general, so that took a heavy toll on my development. <laughs> I've got to start somewhere. How much of a death warrant does he want to sign? Uh, at least she's making sure it's sharp. A lesson learned. I mean, probably better to be told when you're young. You don't want that kind of lesson mid forties. <laughs> I think that's a sentence we can all agree with. Who hasn't wanted to die at one point or another? Light immoral business practices as a kid. Yes, get into pachinko and gambling. Then you won't delve too deep as an adult. Sorry, who? And for some reason... I ain't gotta start uh, early. I mean, as if they didn't have enough 
Issues already. Then it will be troublesome. Uh, I do like the emphasis that uh, there are certain characters and students in the class which are getting a little bit of screen time there, even if they didn't get any speaking lines. Don't take any advice from her. King Kong. Has there been a battle royale? Oh no, just everyone's gone. The only one not affected. Ah. Isn't immunized. Ah, yes. Which is a big problem. It is a big problem. <laughs> Meat doll. Please tell me that's just a weird translation thing. What the hell is that? It may not be a translation thing. When you're told not to play with your food, and then throw them to the lions. Beat the pigeons away. <laughs> what are we playing here? Seems like a fun game. Do you take it in turns? Damn straight I'm beautiful, but why? Ah, oh, that's why, because there's a thousand posters. I wonder if there's a, a message trying to be told that... Ha... Sure, whatever. Quite, uh, quite accepting this one. Just use your entire fence and wall as a, a giant advertising board. Hmm. Polygon in the evening. I've had quite enough of polygons recently. Congratulations, you're learning basic shapes with Zetsubo Sensei. Keeping them as 2D objects at the minute, no dodecahedrons for us. Then everyone can share, great. The man catcher at the bottom. <laughs> well, because he there's other things to be worried about there. Hmm. It is two pointed. Yeah, yeah. Just layer on the. Yeah, there you go. You got a paragraph of insults instead. Instead. Oh, you're right there. I mean, here in the UK and I guess Australia as well is a good example. Certain insults are used as just f informal greetings. A poor dog. Who let him into the class? Yeah. Now we talk about the stock market. Great. You know, whenever there's a crash, as long as she stays away from windows. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, it's a great balance there. <laughs> Perception is everything, I guess. My diet is awful, I can tell you that. Just keep adding more. Yeah, there's no problem there. But if you add too many points, it becomes completely circular. Has there been a point in this show where this class hasn't been bloodthirsty? We're doing it again. Wait, you was roped into this. Ah, all people of all we walks of life around the world. <laughs> the only one he's actually terrified of. Hmm. Once again, don't know who it means, but I'm guessing I know the the joke being made. I think her solutions to these options aren't exactly helping here. So many new designs they're having to put up with. Oh no, not the penguins! Thank you for the, uh... Definition that the penguin was female. That makes it a whole ton better. Ah, the shovel's back. Yeah, she doesn't like to share. And now he's going to have to pay for all of those free hugs. I'm glad someone at least uh, stood up for public morals and decency. Ah, that's where they're kept. Completely unnecessary, but maybe warranted. Wait, what? She's a member of this class? Not all there. I mean, is she concerned about any... Magnanimous was not the word I was thinking, but is she concerned about anything? I mean, she does seem to forgive pretty much everything, whether it be murder or posters. The, the gap between the two is quite vast. Absolutely not. You must be mistaken. Burn mark. Just keep moving until there's something that you can't ignore. Uh, please. Please stop ignoring things. And once again, is this a joke we've had before? Yeah, it's fine. Don't pay your rent. Don't go to hospital. Everything will be fine in the long run. Oh, he's just a casual ignorer instead of professional. What? Was run over? Yeah. <laughs> Some things can be ignored, sure. Ah, uh, don't worry, they, 
It wasn't anything. It was a clear street. A dr <laughs> Sure. Why? I mean, yeah, <laughs> produce and goods, you might want to know if they come from a local source, but what's wrong with knowing who made something? Was that a, I don't go know what that reference was. What? She should be grateful, proud of her work. Do you have a picture of her parents? Hmm. Sharp <laughs> traced, okay. I mean, yeah, if you're gonna do it, follow through with it. Go fully. You got the dad wrong. Oh no. I thought that was the entire point of this. Oh, wait a second. How far back do you want to go? And how abstract... Is that just all she has left? She has a myriad of jobs, doesn't she? Ah, yes, perfect. Collect them all. There definitely hasn't been enough collectathon stickers and shit like that in recent years. Although it has definitely died down from like the early 2000s. This, this episode, much like most of them, In bringing up some interesting points, but also a new character or two, but not drawing focus to any of it. Just, we found a new character archetype. Just roll with it, because there's some jokes we can make here. Whether it be magnanimous or not. And much like the dog or the crane or anything, this show does repeat jokes, but sometimes stories and jokes can overlap. Not one-time use. More drawing! <laughs> ah, you're doing it properly, okay. Still not really gained too much from her drawing style. Not sure about that last bang. Please don't be doing peace signs. Is she drawing a very deformed Sonic? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that was a... No, I, I wasn't expecting that. That was good. The bait and switch. A classic tried and tested method of comedy, but still effective. The troglodyte Sanic becoming quite a interesting piece near the end. But there are certain things which I would agree, yes, it is better to know the creator. 
goods and prod- uh, produce, like, Ew, is it a local farm? Oh, we can check them up and, ah, oh, yes, it's quite nearby. Local farmers, nice. From farm to fear, plate, whatever that phrase is. Um, but you really, yeah, have to think, how far back are you willing to go? Are we talking about individual components and parts? Like with a book, is it the author? The, the publisher? Or the people that pulped the paper in the first place? And while I can see that adding extra points would make something less sharp and therefore less dangerous, it doesn't really work in practice because it all depends on what material it is. If you've got a love quadrilateral, it will end up just becoming a circular sore of desire and danger. As we actually saw in this episode. There are outliers in pretty much all data sets, some that you definitely can't ignore for loss of life and limb. I do like the measles analogy at the beginning. Things that if not inoculated by is a, in a young age become a huge problem later on in life. I feel there are certain things in society that people should learn quite early on. Balancing your finances, for instance. Seems like a decent one to pick up early. The idea of picking up a game later in life and be, oh, what have I been missing out on? I must dedicate my entire existence now to the Nintendo DS. There are probably probably better examples than that. (laughs) But you know, if you've not experienced it, it's a whole new world. But I guess with that, there are certain things that, you know, being slowly drip-fed and vaccinated against, you might still be able to get away with as an adult. I'm not there yet in many a facet, so... I guess I just need to sit down and watch more anime. Definitely nothing wrong with that one. But if you've enjoyed this, let me know. Leave a like and a comment on the channel. Consider subscribing so you don't miss future uploads. But definitely get yourself some rest so I can see you in the next one.